with Abitri, Ralph and Trevor. How are you doing today? Doing great. Got a beer. Always good. Tell us about U Nation. Uh, U Nation is a new website that's going to launch at the beginning of October. It's it's like MySpace or Facebook on steroids. It's going to allow. It's going to be bigger than both of them too. It's going to allow bands to instantly communicate with all of their fans and interact with them. It's very unique. It's it's totally different than those sites and it's actually a lot better so people sh you can pre-register for it now at unation.com and how did you get involved with it uh, actually a friend of Donald's is kind of like, like the uh, main man involved and um, he just wanted our help to try to recruit artists and musicians and uh, fans too so that was basically it And this year is your 25th anniversary, is that right? Uh, yes. Well, starting around here, more like next year. More like next year? Officially, the band got together in 84, so it's actually more than But our first album came out in 89, so it's still a few years if you want to count it from 89. So well, We're going to celebrate it for three or four years by drinking beer. 26 years at this point, if you want to go back to the very first day that we became a group. So you're going to celebrate it by drinking beer like you do every day? Uh, actually, we are going to, I can't talk about it too much right now, but next year we are going to do some kind of special things for the 25th anniversary. Terry Butler is currently playing bass for you. Is he a permanent bass player and why the change from the old bass player? I'm going to kick that over to Trevor. Hi. <laughs> well, okay, Terry, we're, nothing's permanent. We want him to be our bass player permanent. He, obviously, he plays a six feet under, and we're trying to make the schedules work like a puzzle so he can play in both bands. And, I, you know, he, he doesn't really want to jump ship from six feet because he has a good situation there, but we want him to play with us, so it's all good. So, And the reason we don't have Frank Watkins anymore is just because. Just because. Yeah. Existential question that can't be answered with. <laughs> Tune into a, the next episode on unation.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you were a porn star, what would your name be and what would be your party trick? Okay, because the one thing they do in America is like to get your porn name, you get the name of your first pet and your mother's maiden name. When I did that, my porn name is Midnight Craft. That is fucking badass. Uh, my special trick, not spilling my drink. Yeah, I have a child, so I'm not going to say anything too dirty on the <laughs> Oh, okay. And I'll just skip that question because I don't have a clue. <laughs> you don't have a clue? What's the name of your first pet and your mother's maiden name? My first pet, Pookie, <laughs> Landrigan. <laughs> hey, Pookie Landrigan. I love that guy. I've got all his stuff. He's incredible. Bro, well, you used to play for their side. Um, how does it differ from playing from their side to a bitch? Things are a hell of a lot more calm in obituary and like the music is less like I can just play guitar like naturally in Theocide you think 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 because the music's like all of that and it's it's a lot easier in a lot of ways to tour. Things are more steady, we don't cancel gigs, things like that. I'm not ripping on Deicide, those guys are still my friends, I just did their new album that hasn't come out yet, which comes out on <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it's just, it's more calm and it's, the band is run like a business now and, uh, you know, it, it, it's just more uh, stable, I would say. So now it's run like a business? Yes. In the past it wasn't, but you have to find out later. In the next episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's the worst place that you ever woke up after a drunken night? Um, in someone's tent who I had no clue who they were at the Grass Pop Fest. <laughs> uh, the worst place or the worst circumstance? Circumstance and place. 
I woke up in jail one time when I was about 17 for assaulting a police officer. And the worst, the worst though, was this little really stifling hot hotel room in England. I went out with my friend the night before and he goes, we're on the cider tonight. And we we're drinking these little white bottles of cider called White Diamond. And I woke up and I fucking, that hangover, I still remember it like emotionally. I mean, it, it is depressing. It was so terrible. I'll never do it again, probably. <laughs> Okay, and then one last question. If there was something that you've always wanted, and you can have it, but you have to smuggle it out in your ass, what would it be? <laughs> I guess all the money in the world, I guess. <laughs> if I'm going to go that far, fuck it. And you? <laughs> Midgets. Midgets. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, guys. No problem, thank you. And I hope you have a great time at the festival. Enjoy your beer. <laughs>